Okay, so here are a couple more examples. We want to use known Taylor series to get new Taylor series for slightly more complicated functions. This first one is a great example. This is a great example of why we want to work with power series and properties of power series rather than going back to the definition. Because think about if you were trying to actually do this one by hand from the definition. You had to start calculating derivatives, right? Uh, f of 0 is 0. We go to f prime, right? What's f prime of x? We get uh, 2x cos x squared, right? Because we've got to do chain rule for the inside. Uh, oh, that's also 0 at 0. So we go to the second derivative. Well, now we've got to do product rule, right? 2 cos x squared minus 4 x squared sine x squared, right? Because when we take the derivative here, we get negative sine times another 2x, right? And then we go to the third derivative. And what do we have? So here we're going to have minus 4x sine x squared, right? Um, minus 8x sine x squared. Um, Doing the derivative there, and then we got to do the derivative of that, so we get minus 8x cubed cos x squared. All right, so now we've got, what do we have? Minus 12x sine x squared. All right, minus 8x cubed cos x squared. Um, Oh, and that's equal to 0 at 0, right? So, so far we've only got one non-zero term, and we gotta, maybe we want to keep going, right? Look for that next non-zero term. Oh, let's see. We're not going to get it here, right? Because we're going to get minus 12 sine x squared from that derivative. Then we're going to get uh, minus 24x squared sine x squared. Okay, and now from there we get another minus 24 um, oh, sorry, this should be cos. This should be cos. Because right, we take the derivative of sine, we get cosine. So 24x squared cos x squared, taking the derivative here. And then finally, we take the derivative of that, we get negative sine x squared times another 2x. So we get minus 16x to the 4 sine x squared. Okay, we can combine those terms, but I mean, you know, this is getting worse and worse, right? Um, we do, when, once we get to the fifth derivative, we are going to get another, will we get another one? No, we got to go to the sixth, right? Looking at this, next derivative here, I would get um, negative 12 cos x squared, but then I got to multiply by another 2x, minus 24 cos x squared, time, or 24x cos x squared, and then finally, when I get to the sixth derivative, I can take the derivative of x, I'm going to get a 24, minus 24 cos in there. Um, like, this is awful. Okay, really awful. But we can do this. There's the power series for sine. Okay. So if I want to get from the power series for sine x to the power series for sine x squared, I just have to replace x by x squared on both sides of the equation. Okay, so I get minus 1 to the n, x to the 4n plus 2, 2n plus 1 factorial, and I'm done. Right? It's dead easy. You don't have to mess around with any of this. This is awful. Nobody wants to go there. You just want to do that. Much better, right? Now, that second one, um, so the textbook... Um, some versions of the textbook, at least, they, they basically just say, hey, you, you, can, uh, you can take that power series there for log x, and then you, you substitute in the square root of x everywhere, so you just get, you know, root x minus 1, root of x minus 1 all squared, and so on. And, um, well, okay, technically that's valid. You get, a, you get a series. I mean, you can consider sequences and series of functions that are not necessarily power series. You'd probably do that in, a, in an analysis course or, you know, more advanced course, but... Um, it's not really a power series if you put root x in there, right? Okay, but there's actually a way to do this one without any work at all. 
And it doesn't require Taylor series. It doesn't require any of this. It requires remembering a little bit about properties of logarithms. Root x is x to the 1 half. Log of x to the 1 half is 1 half log of x. Done, right? Take the power series for log. Multiply by 1 half. That's it. Put a 2 down there. That's all you need to do. And you got it done.